two men, not big men, two small men, with two fishing rods, good rods, big rods. One big truck, one small boat, four small cameras, zero camera experience. With one big idea. Two men and their fishing rods. I'm Tyler. I'm Nathan. We're two men and their fishing rods. Best fishing show on TV. Today, we're going to Nama River. Slow it up. Tyler, turn right, turn right. No, your other right. Nice. <laughs> We're headed to the river. Now there's a few different fishing holes along the Nanaimo River. We're going to our personal favorite. It's in Cedar, right by the fire hall. Once we're off the highway, we're just gonna follow Cedar Road until we see Boswell Road on the right. Take that, follow it till it dead ends. We're there. Finally arrived at the fishing hole we were telling you about earlier. Let's cast. Nice shirt. Thanks, man. Made it myself. Hey, P.S. Why is this river flowing two different ways? Man, that's the back eddy. Let me explain. At this particular location, you can see the river is doing tons of different things. Flowing downstream over here, coming into this basin, swashbuckling around, uprising, taking this hook to the left, causing what you call a back eddy. Now that's where the salmon are gonna hang out. They're lazy, slow water salmon. Back eddy. Can I have the fed? Me too. Um. I guess. Tyler? I don't care, man. It's a box of crackers. Yay! So me and Nathan obviously don't know how to salmon fish, but we do know how to make salmon lures. What you want to do is you get all these ingredients at your local outdoor store, fishing, hunting, etc. Here we have your typical brass Colorado blade. And I'm going to attach it to my split ring here. Feed it through the eye hole. So we're here. Then we get one of our two swivels. Again, feeding it through. We feed our second swivel through. All right. Now we're here. Now, most importantly, your hook. We bought the open end hooks to make it a little simpler for us. Now make sure when you're making your blade to put the hook on the convex. Where's this concave? You know, I think it's concave. Put it on the concave side of the blade, like so. And then, crimp the opening of the hook. Oh yeah. And this is what your end result looks like. All right. So Tyler showed you the blade setup, now I'm going to show you your other option. It involves using pink fluff, oh I mean wool, this is wool not fluff, which is attached to a pencil weight, which is attached to a bobber. So now I'm going to start, I'm going to demonstrate how to tie your wool to your hook. The bait knot. Um, now we're using a one aught hook, it's barbed but we debarbed them obviously. So what you're going to want to do first is you put the line through the eyelet backwards and you're going to wrap the line around the eyelet. I like to do six times, but really it's your own preference. Four, five, six. Now the main thing about this knot is you really, after you do those wraps, you've got to keep this tight or else the wraps all let go. So once you do those wraps, you grab the other end of the line 
feed it through the eyelet forwards. Then you take the line that you've wrapped and you wrap it again around the line that you just fed through. Again, you do six wraps or whatever you prefer. And again, keep it tight. A little trick is to wet the line. It makes the knot a little bit stronger and easier to pull through. All right, so once it's wet, take the part that's through. You just give it a pull. It pulls everything up, tightens up the knot in the end. And then once it's all tight, you again take the line that's through, you push it back through, and it gives you a little loop. Now that loop is to insert your wool. We use pink, but really you can use whatever you want. So you just put it through the loop, tighten it back up. There, and now you're ready to catch some salmon. But before you do, you need to follow these rules. Tyler? Do not attempt to foul hook a fish. Do not keep a foul hooked fish. Fish with only single barbless hooks and no bait. Nope, fish on. You got one? I got something. I think you got a big one. Not putting on much of a bite though. Yeah, that feels funny. Ah. No. Oh. Oh. That snake just had fish on the bottom. Ew. Ew. I'm, Ew. I caught it. You're, you're taking it off there. That's the end of the, uh, the chum run. That's when they die off and they sink to the bottom. Looks like I was the unlucky founder of a dead chum salmon. How's the fishing? So far, not so good, man. One of those days. Well, I guess that's why they call it fishing and not catching. Yeah, that makes sense. Right on. This probably sounds like a broken record by now. But clean up your mess. This is unacceptable. Hope you enjoyed our Christmas episode. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any fish that were alive. Probably due to the fact that we didn't get the date straight on the old salmon run issue. Yeah. But uh, for any further information, contact your local department's fisheries and oceans and they'll be happy to tell you. Other than that, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and you get what's on your wish list. Yeah. Nathan, what'd you ask Santa for? You know what, Tyler? I think we both asked for the same thing. A sponsorship. Sponsorship. Merry Christmas. We're two men on their fishing rods. Happy holidays. For a more detailed map of our fishing locations, become a fan of ours on Facebook. That's right. Just look for two men and their fishing rods.